How's it going? This is Tom Burkhart one more time in the Porsche Macan Turbo. Um, absolutely smitten with this car. Very, very much in love after uh, even a brief drive and a little bit of photo session out here at Lake Lanier Islands Resort in uh, near Atlanta, Georgia. So just a little roundabout. <laughs> Followed by some uh, a Sport Plus exit to the roundabout in, uh, in exclusive Porsche style. So I want to focus this video on um, on the engine performance and the uh, exhaust. Though. So can Porsche make can Porsche make an SUV, a turbo SUV, um, in the Macan segment with a V6 that sounds as good as as good as uh, most Porsche should? I mean, obviously, I can't even phrase the question because it's such an obvious yes. We all know that the the KN Turbo sounds outstanding, and they've uh, they've leveraged a lot of the the learnings on how to make turbos really sing for this new Macan. This will raise these windows here a little bit. Oh, this I am so smitten, you guys. I can't even. I can't remember the last time I liked a car this much. You know, if you wonder, like, what would car reviewers, you know, guys who drive like a lot of vehicles. Um, semi-professionally you know what would they actually what would they actually drive what would they pick um, in a situation where you have fifty thousand dollars or a hundred thousand um, dollars well I'm pleased to report that for each of those scenarios it would be a Macan I would get the you know the most base Macan S you could ever find for uh, for about 51 um, or a Macan turbo for 400 grand um, all-wheel drive 400 horsepower about 4.5 seconds to 60 miles an hour and uh, fantastic luxury and equipment in the cabin um, all around just one of the best driving positions you could ever imagine I mean really really an amazing vehicle I'm really enjoying it so in Sport Plus of course so the transmission is very active and uh, doing some shifting for us we have the cooled seats on so my face isn't going to be as sweaty hopefully and just in a few minutes um, so luxurious this Macan turbo has a lot of options as we touched on in the previous video um, but a lot of these are you know cosmetic things like there's there's this interior carbon fiber package uh, the exterior side blade in the doors is also carbon fiber which is a special option um, it, it, it definitely changes the look of the vehicle dramatically it makes it look lower and more hot hatch esque but um, I would ditch it. I would not go for that particular option. I prefer it with um, the painted side blade. It's like this, you know, a piece in the doors, uh, in the door shaping, sort of like where like a rug strip would be on a, on a non Porsche. Got the kind of camera flopping around here a little bit. <sighs> okay, so loving the Macan. Really have been like a huge cheerleader of this vehicle um, since it was first launched and thrilled to get behind the wheel uh, for the first time and really get a sense of you know that the car is as good as I was always dreaming better it's better it's such a great machine I love this compact steering wheel from the Porsche 918 Spyder um, I think that the driving position is stellar these seats which are the 18-way um, adjustable seats um, are some of the best in the world they have power adjustments for the bolsters in the lower seat base as well as for the uh, as well as the bolsters in the backrest you know you can like um, electronically tighten or loosen those, those, uh, those pieces this car I mean as, as evidence as my camera flying around is evidence of the Macan can really hang on <laughs> it feels amazingly sporty um, we can feel the torque vectoring rear end really extremely active um, in Sport Plus especially. It's, it's sort of pushing the back of the car around corners very, very aggressively. The vehicle has lots of power to spare. Um, I haven't been able to do like an exhaust note sample from behind the car. From in the car... It sounds not so great. It's from in the car, like the engine note is not Porsche or supercar special. You know, you've got the steering wheel setting the tone from the Porsche 918 Spider, and the engine note doesn't really deliver on uh, that level of, uh, of sportiness, which is disappointing, but it's very difficult to make turbo engines sound good from inside the car. It's obviously, it's something that 
um, that the guys, you know, the Porsche and BMW and Mercedes, those, you know, those engineering guys work really hard and have made the exhaust notes um, able to be extremely um, evocative and with back bellows and pops and all that stuff. Which was it, which even a few years ago was like impossible, or, you know, it was never done on turbocharged vehicles. They just couldn't figure out how to make them sound that good. But we're still seeing, seeing this on the inside of the vehicle that there is a little bit of it's a little disappointing in that as a twin turbo, you can't hear the turbo, <coughs> excuse me, you can't hear the turbos from up front, and um, you can't really hear the exhaust note from inside the vehicle. Sport Plus. I don't see any active exhaust buttons here. Um, we'll include in the review whether that's an option on the factory Macan. It, way, but it may well not be. They might be saving that for a special Macan Turbo S or perhaps a GTS in the future. Uh, but, uh, but you know, if that's the worst thing that you can find about a car um, as incredible as this 2015 Porsche Macan Turbo, that's a pretty, that's a pretty, uh, that's fine. I mean, you could get you could fix that in the aftermarket for five hundred to a thousand dollars. So, not a big dent in the Macan at all, um, especially for an SUV that may that may or may not be the sportiest SUV really ever made. You've got BMW with the X5M and um, at Mercedes with the um, the ML63, now the GLE63 AMG, and um, you know lots of lots of people have tried. I mean, um, Audi has the um, the uh, the SQ5. Sorry, I couldn't think of its name. Which is which is of course very similar to the Macan um, in base chassis terms. But Porsche has done so much work that they're barely barely interchangeable um, for for any of the even the chassis parts that are the shared core elements of the vehicle. So the Macan Turbo a lot is is this sporty because it takes all of that sort of German fervor for track ready performance from an SUV and takes it down um, a massive size class. Obviously the KN is a ridiculous vehicle, but it's also huge. Like it's it's a really big car. So getting that to 60 miles an hour, anything under five seconds, is like a miracle from, from the baby Jesus. <laughs> but the Macan is much, much lighter um, and a much more nimble base package that they have to work with. And the results are astounding. Let's see like a, like a quick, lane change simulation we're at uh, 55 miles an hour now so well that was a little that was a little floatier than expected like on initial turn in the vehicle has sort of the steering is not um it's it's not as rapid as some sports cars in like the first first one or two degrees of steering lock um but once the vehicle has deciphered that, you, that that's the way you want to turn, it's it's like the whole thing, the whole vehicle is sort of like ready and pivoting and getting into that alignment, like it's ready to you know drift around that corner like a rally car. So that's a little bit of an interesting uh, an interesting thing to observe. Typically in Sport Plus, um, you would expect it to be to be a little dirtier. But uh, Porsche is learning as the sales machine really revs up, and Porsche is expecting the Macan to become um, its best seller of all time, based on uh, current trends so far. Uh, um, I, I, I missed my train of thought, but uh, oh yeah, so based on you know Porsche's growing, uh, they're not going down market at all. They're just sort of going like laterally and expanding. Um, the Porsche ethos to all these new segments. So as they do that, they are definitely learning a few things about what buyers are willing to, to go for and what makes the Porsche feel like quirky and special and, um, and uh, you know, legendary. Like the, the key on the left for the Le Mans start, so you could put the key in while you were still jumping over the door and turn it. You know, that's like a, something that is, is, a, is an amazing part of the legacy. Um, other things uh, are, are falling by the wayside. So that was obviously not on purpose. Um, other things are falling by the wayside, including like that they have a central, central, uh, like on the Panamera, the lock button is in the center of the dash, uh, as the Germans are uh, have generally preferred. 
I guess so that somebody couldn't like reach in and unlock it from with your window open. But uh, Porsche has actually changed that for the Macan. The lock switches are now on the door, which is pretty pretty good, pretty impressive that they are that um, that they're that they're flexible, that they're like attuned to uh, to buyer needs and uh, and willing to make some changes to their their core. Um, so that that was pretty intense. That U-turn, I mean, the the Macan just like just flipped around it just uh it shows that there's an unbelievable amount of power coming from this 3.6 liter twin turbocharged engine and also how much of that power is uh is stuck to the back wheels right away um versus uh the q5 as the basis obviously that torque split is going to be uh 50 50 uh or 40 60 at best whereas porsche has uh in sport plus mode at least made the macan feel as though it were a traditional rear drive vehicle that has um, the added capability of all wheel drive. So that's just a level of like master tuning and um, precision precision setup of the way the all wheel drive system works and uh, and how it can be applied for you know ultimate sportiness. So, but, I mean, these are all really, really good things. I'm in love with the car. I'm in love with it and you know like a lot of these great Porsches it rides really really well because we do have an air suspension and we have it on uh, Sport 2 right now in its lowest setting uh, we do have an off-road setting that will raise the vehicle height and change the uh, the programming for the stability control as well as that all-wheel drive and uh, hill descent control lots of other good stuff talking my face off Porsche Macan dream truck an amazing vehicle um, this vehicle it, it, like I said comes in at, at, at 104 which is pretty pricey but uh, has you know every I think every option in the book so uh, it's it's well worth it it's like a GTR for people who need uh, who need you know to be able to have ground clearance and a back seat or trunk for dogs all right we'll see you guys later this is Tom Burkhart in the Porsche Macan Turbo see ya